Hey, this is Claire Tanhauser, jeweler and owner of Moon Tree Boutique. Um, I thought it would be cool to just pop on here and do a little improvised, uh, unscripted behind the scenes where I just speak extemporaneously about um, my rig, what I use to actually make the jewelry. So let's go inside and check it out. Um, so I am using a soft soldering method that uh, really has some fumes. It's an alloy of silver, tin, and copper, and those aren't things that you want to breathe. So I'm gonna go over my totally homemade ventilation system that I created myself, and I'm not like a very handy person. I'm working on it. But um, yeah, just out of recycled materials and a few things from the Home Depot. And it's really great. And if you're getting into this, I thought you might benefit from seeing my rig. So here it is. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna give you a little uh, glimpse of my rig before I explain exactly what it is. And I think the salient point of this video is that if you went out and bought this prefabricated, it would cost thousands of dollars, but I have achieved the exact same thing with like less than a hundred dollars of materials that I've recycled or um, got at the hardware store. And when you are doing soldering, there are some fumes that, you know, if you breathe it for a second, it's not going to kill you. But if you're sitting in here for hours on end, like I do, you don't want the entire space to um, fill with fumes. Yeah, that's not safe. So safety first. So let's go over some of my safety protocols. Number one, this is a concrete floor. It's not flammable. That's very important. Sometimes little beads of solder jump away from you and will land different places. And, you know, fire safety is extremely important. As you can see, I have my um, fire extinguisher that I keep and then check and replenish regularly um, just right next to my desk in case, God forbid, there is an issue which has, has literally never happened to me, but it's this is a video about safety precautions. So this is called a vent hood. I made this vent hood myself um, with, you know, recycled uh, sheet aluminum that I got from actually a dumpster dive construction site situation at the end of the block. But you can buy it at the Home Depot for a couple, a uh, big roll, it's a couple bucks per square foot and you can cut it with scissors. It's not, um, doesn't require special equipment. So I created what is essentially a backsplash out of it so that if a little bead of solder or one of the chemicals I use, you know, splashes, it's not going to hit the wall. Um, and this plexiglass plate is to keep, again, any type of splashing to um, stay out of my eyes. I also wear eye protection and, of course, I wear rubber gloves. Um, for that protection as well. Here's my my rubber gloves. You can see my solder, some of my kind of just messy supplies, things that are in various processes of being made. Um, so essentially, let's, let's look at what this is. So I have this big hood that's closed on all sides. It's taped together and wired together. Then this is an eight inch inline vent fan. They use these in bathrooms to get the humidity out. This cost me about $45 at the Home Depot. I bought that piece new. It's attached to the wall because it's pretty heavy. That's what all this mess is about. And um, then this is a recycled piece from our water catchment system that we upgraded on the outbuilding, but Again, this is inexpensive black plastic tubing that you can buy at the Home Depot. And I have a second smaller inline vent fan. This one is either four inch or six inch, I can't quite remember, but it's just to make sure that the fumes don't sit inside that tube and actually get moved out. Again, you know, like a little bit of these fumes are not toxic, but if you're doing this like I am for hours a day, like you don't wanna be sitting in a room that is full of this smoke. So let's turn the fan on and give you guys a look at what the rig is in action. 
So if you hear that whirring sound, um, that's this fan and again this fan and it just goes out into the alley um, by my studio and disperses in the fresh air. This is my photography situation that's unrelated. So let me show you guys in here. So these are fire safe bricks and just some random patio tiles, a baking sheet. You know, I'm a firm believer in improvising and getting as much of your supplies for free as possible um, out of necessity, but also just responsibility for the ecosystem and so forth. Uh, why make new waste when there's plenty of uh, things that can be recycled? So let me show you what I mean. Oops, I'm trying to do this with one hand. Uh, I just turned the soldering iron on, so it needs a second to heat up. But I was gonna, wow, sorry about this part. Just gonna show you guys what kind of smoke is, uh, is born of the solder. So there you go. The solder that I use is silver bearing, so it has a very high sterling silver content, and then it is mixed, <clears throat> excuse me, it's mixed with copper and tin. So when you melt it, it discharges a little bit of smoke, and that's exactly what we're trying to get out of the studio so that it just, just isn't sitting in the air being bad for us. A lot of the other, you know, things that I use have, uh, dangerous chemicals in them. This is my flux, which right on here, it says it's zinc chloride, keep out of reach of children, don't get it on your skin or on your eyes. That's why I wear the gloves. And the flux is what kind of allows the solder to melt. So yeah, safety first guys, happy crafting. And thanks for watching. Um, visit Moon Tree Boutique on Etsy to see the final products. Thanks.